Hey, what's up everyone? Just a quick little tutorial on photo trap change detection. If you're interested, you can go download it for free at the Apple App Store. It's not on Google Play or anything just yet, but it will be in the future. Um, excuse the background noise, there's people working outside. So very quickly, we've got the app itself. When you open it up, it walks you through how to set a trap, uh, save a trap, and then check the trap and then of course change detection. So very quickly I've got this phone set up. I'm gonna go around on this other side and kind of walk you through it. So the directions are pretty straightforward. It tells you what photo trap is, how to set the trap, how to save a trap, check a trap, and then detect change. Okay, then you hit start and off we go. So the image that you see there and here, I'm gonna go ahead and tap on the screen so it focuses. You're gonna set the trap, meaning you're gonna take picture one. Boom. Then you're gonna save it. Okay, you can name it, let's say, wall. Oops, wall, save, okay? Now, you leave your, it could be your hotel room, whatever it is, and you walk away, and you're gonna come back and see if anything has been moved. So for the sake of the image, you know, somebody took my boxing gloves and tried them on, they sat in my chair and moved it, um, what else is in view? We've got this tag on a 5.11 backpack. We've got the helmet. Somebody decided to take it and try it on. You know, um, yeah, they, they, somebody unzipped this. Okay, and somebody played with this body armor. There we go, we touched a bunch of stuff, right? So now we're gonna go in, you're gonna go to your trap album, okay? trap album, it's gonna pull up a ghost image. Okay, you can barely see it. And you're gonna align all the permanent features. Okay, so if there's wall outlets, um, walls, where the ceiling meets the wall, all those permanent things that can't be moved, you're gonna align those, and then you're gonna hit check trap. Boom, okay, then we're gonna hit save. Now we can compare. There's manual, right? Manual is just basically, um, uh, M manual is just hitting the button there. Boom, boom, boom. You can see everything that's been moved. You see the helmet, you see the chair, you see the gloves, you see the zipper. Um, then you can put it in auto. And what beauty about auto is it allows you to kind of zoom in and really take a look at things, right? Or, you know, what exactly was disturbed over there? What's going on up, you know, at my helmets? And then you know, any other, then of course the chair. But it will pick up um, and animate anything that's been moved. But the key is remembering where you stood to take the trap and your body position so that that way when you come back and check the trap, you're better aligned. And the better your alignment is, the more animated things are. So I like to stand in a doorway and just take a picture of an entire room because with the megapixels where they are these days on most cameras, you know, even if you're just wanting to trap your desk or trap your laptop, it's better just to take a picture of the whole environment that it's in. You're still going to see if somebody tampered with it or moved it. Um, so I hope that helps. You guys go check it out. Apple App Store, photo trap, change detection. Uh, and if you get some good... Um, traps that you detect some cool stuff, feel free to post and tag me at 100 Deli Skills. All right, see you guys later.